Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the Signal GH app. This app is extremely useful to fine tune your antenna if you own an HD home run. It provides real time signal strength and signal quality of each TV station, along with the option to manually select RF channels that don't show up on a regular channel scan. If you're a cord cutter or into antennas, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. First, I want to thank Glenn Howes for not only sponsoring this video, but for working so hard on such a useful app for over-the-air viewers. As a heads up, the Signal GH app can only be used with an HD home run on an iPad or iPhone. It currently is not available on Android because Glenn is an iOS developer. If you don't have an iPhone, like me, and want to use the Signal GH app with your HD Home Run, you have the option to either borrow a friend or a relative's iPhone, or purchase a cheap iPod Touch on eBay. The app supports iOS 15 or greater, which includes the iPhone 6S and above, along with the 7th generation iPod Touch. So here's a tutorial of the app. Under the settings, you can run a channel scan to display all the TV stations your antenna picks up. Signal strength indicates how strong or weak the signal is, and signal quality indicates, well, the quality of the signal. For signal quality, the higher the number, the more reliable the signal is. The signal graph lets you monitor the signal levels in real time. You can set multiple RF channels to display on the graph to keep a log of signal levels as you move the antenna around. I have a four tuner HD home run, so I can select up to four different RF channels at the same time. If you have multiple HD home runs, you can select even more RF channels. This is a lot easier than having to manually change the channel on a TV set and memorize numbers. You can see the signal levels on all channels significantly increased when I tried a new location for the antenna on the roof. As I mentioned in several videos of mine, moving an antenna as little as a few feet can have a huge impact on reception. You never want to just put up an antenna in a convenient spot, point it even if you're using a compass and hope for the best. It's critical to use some kind of signal meter as a guide to try different locations for an antenna, such as the signal meter on the Signal GH app. As a heads up, the signal levels under the settings tab are not updated in real time. You need to tap the signal graph and assign the RF channels in order to get real-time data. One of the best features about this app is the ability to select RF channels of TV stations that are too weak to lock in on a channel scan. For example, in my area, one PBS station on RF channel 27 didn't show up on a regular channel scan because the signal is too weak. If I tap on 27 to the left, which is RF channel 27, it will show the signal levels of that channel. I can then use the app as a guide to move the antenna around until I find a spot where the channel is locked in. As a reminder, you can find the RF channel of the TV stations in your area under the signal search option on rabbitears.info. The RF channel of each TV station is in parentheses and most times it is not the channel that shows up on your TV set. I must say that the option to manually input RF channels on this app is incredibly useful. In the past, I had to connect a digital converter box to a small TV set on the roof and just kind of move the antenna around and constantly look at the monitor until I locked it in, or I had to travel to a specific location with a portable TV set to lock in all the market channels, but even then, once in a while there'd be one that wouldn't show up and it would start the process of endless rescans. The map tab shows where the nearest broadcast towers are located and where to point the antenna based on the phone's compass. The experiments tab lets you save signal data. This is great for comparing two different antennas or amplifiers or even antennas in different locations. So I was really impressed with all the features of the Signal GH app. Not only does it show detailed signal information coming in from your antenna, but you can manually input RF channels. This is a true game changer for people in weak signal areas. Instead of blindly moving the antenna around and hoping for the best, you can use the Signal GH app to set the RF channel of a missing TV channel 
and move the antenna around until the signal is locked in. You can download the Signal GH app on the app store of an iPhone or iPad. Keep in mind that you do need an HD Home Run and an Apple device in order to use the app. As I stated earlier in this video, if you have an Android phone like me, you can either borrow a relative's iPhone or purchase a cheap iPod Touch on eBay. Thanks so much to Glenn Howes for sponsoring this video and supporting my YouTube channel. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and time related videos and have an awesome day.